crazy. So people who invest in Pokemon cards are really smart, man. You may laugh at them, but those Pokemon cards are going to go for a lot later on in life. But when, we don't have to wait that much longer when you invest against players like Sharp and Apollo Kage here in Winner's Finals. All right. So what are the best look like on this set? I haven't, even, I, I haven't even gotten a chance to look at, so I'll, I'll take that out and look in a second. But, uh, so interesting enough, we just saw Sharp play against Ronnie Chu's Snake, opting to go in combination of Zero Suit and Wolf, able to win it narrowly. But now he's just choosing to start against a Palakage with the coin. And I honestly don't blame him, because this is a situation where you are able to juggle the hell out of Snake once you get him in the air. And you also have a decent uh, way of dealing with the grenades yourself, with like the range and the projectile coin too. Oh no, that force smash would have killed for sure. A lot of people would have rolled into that, but you know, Sharp's playing really patiently. <laughs> Paying very close attention to what the Palkog is doing. Oh. Yeah, he has to use, you almost, you almost have to use the B-reverse to land against Corrin, because you're directly above Corrin as Snake, that up air is hidden. Oh, it most definitely. So that, that's the thing about both players too. They have to ridiculously watch their landing. Corn specifically because that Corn's got back air, oh. he's got pin, he's got forward smash. So if you're not watching your landings oh. or paying attention to Corn's positioning, you will lose your stock. But speaking of landings, man, like Paul Akake not letting Sharp land at all, using that neutral air to stop him in his tracks. Yeah, I really like how uh, often Paul Akake is able to force people to jump and he's just ready to cover it with the uh, neutral air. Really good stuff. Almost oh, got. Okay, what a trade! Okay. What a trade! Yeah, I mean, it's a good trade for a Palakage, honestly. I'll take like that 14 percent. <laughs> up tilt, an excellent play here. Usually down tilt, up tilt's a pretty early combo starter. All right, Palakage still with the lead here, 93 to 54. Down tilt, no hit here. Palakage sending out the enemy chaser. It's gonna force up on that low recovery. Yeah, great order to uh, deactivate the Nikita hitbox for a short time so you can get back to the ledge. Oh, no grab. I'll, that was a roll from Sharp there. A potential grab. Usually the what you might see, but still good patience there because he knows how Apollo Kage is right now. Especially with the percents on Sharp. Sharp going deep off the stage to land using two rolls to bypass the grenades. Oh, man. Apollo Kage is so much pressure oh, right now. That's, and he so just can't hard. even up deep through the Nikita at all. See, that, that's the thing, is the early hits will work okay against Nikita. Big problem, though, is the after those hits are initially expended, you will just run into the actual explosion itself. Really good grenade movement here from Apollo Kage. Oh, that was so scary. He set, up the, he set up that smash attack so well, anticipating that movement from Sharp to get in that positioning, with Sharp able to get that full kick. No, irregardless. Yeah, that was so risky from Sharp too. If you like barely mistimed that, you was gonna get hit by that force smash for sure. Either way, Palakage is still holding on to this lead. Oh, nice grenade to cover him. I don't think Sharp has a jump here. Yeah, what is he I... doing? What is he doing? Mm, oh okay, no. So there's a way that Snake can stall his recovery back on the stage, but the problem is Apollo Kage did not have a grenade in hand. So that put him at a really rough spot with no C4 indeed as well. Yeah, that was a pretty bad misinput there from uh, Apollo Kage. Let's see if it actually ends up costing him this game. Yeah. There's another neutral guard catching the jump. Sharp at 92 here, looking for a nice double jump to get around Snake, probably trying to get across up here. Down tilt, up tilt, great play. Looking to see how Apollo Kage will land, especially at center stage. Oh, never the forget C4. about the C4, man, because I didn't even see it. I didn't know it was there either. But uh, Apollo Kage definitely knew. This is crazy. Someone says, do I hear the go Ajax on the mic? I am not Ajax. I don't think Stride sounds like Ajax. But Ajax Isn't is the Ajax one of the literally in the chat. He's in the chat. I was going to say. Well, he's, he's, he's lurking in the chat, man. I was going to say. Uh, but... Wait, and don't we have, like, the pictures? Like, ne never mind, never mind. Okay, no, we neither of us are Ajax. None of us see. are, yeah, none of us, none of us are Ajax, bro. Like, uh, <laughs> you like can what? see my, you can see my picture, you can see Stryza's picture. Yeah, maybe confuse. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Sharp Samus. 
I've actually seen Sharp go uh, Samus against Snake in the past. It's a. Uh... It's a. Uh... Okay. It can be really good for Samus because she has really good camping tools in her own right. But if the Snake is also just as patient, willing to, you know, use the, his grenades in like different timings and stuff, he can still do well in this matchup too. He also still can destroy her recovery with Nikita because it's pretty linear in that uh, fashion. But let's see. Let's see what happens here. Sharp is also really good with this character in this matchup, especially. Funny, funny enough, I thought we were gonna see zero suit Samus because we saw how well Sharp did against Snake at the beginning of the stream here. But honestly, I wouldn't put it past him to win this with Samus as well. <laughs> he would have still get hit by Apollo Kage, but coming back on the stage with nice. two back airs to seal the deal. First one to get on the stage, second one to get Apollo Kage out of the zone. Oh. Man, yeah, if Apollo Kage went low there, he was definitely going to die to down here. <laughs> that was super easy down here. Oh, okay. Sharp trying to avoid getting put in a situation where he trades. Potentially gets reversed by Snake. Taking a lot of percent right now, Apollo Kage, that is. Oh, nope. Nair one up till not working out. Yeah, a really good stage or ledge positioning here for Sharp. And I yeah. really like the usage of that Zera as well. Yeah, Zera is really good poking tool and really safe to use from a distance here. It's one of, it has an extra layer of zoning for Samus. Especially when you're trying to play against characters that can reflect projectiles. Yeah, that'll be true at that percent here. Sharp down two stocks even with Akage, but Kage at 94, man. So he's gonna have to watch himself, specifically against Samus. That's a catch for the forward air here, but a grenade to definitely break that. Big back here. Not enough to kill, but huge, huge opportunity to you know, take control of the stage. And man, Paul Kage is really struggling to regain neutral, getting juggled over and over here. Nice shield pressure on the platform as well. Yeah, Sharps playing so well around the grenades is two has the charge shot on deck he has like the light charge shot so it's not enough to kill but uh, around early percents you want to use that light charge shot to actually combo into grabs and things of that sort up throw actually might be enough to kill here with samus even on this stage Oh, kind of obvious to go for that one there, though. I think Apollo Kage recognizes that the threat of the kill throw is definitely looming, but there's the up air. Little bit of a lead here for Sharp, but you don't want to give Snake any opportunities to come back because he definitely can. Oh, there's another grenade here on Sharp. Nice. Well, not, not anymore, but at the start, it was really looking good for Kage. He's got a grenade on him. Sharp taking his time here, 104. Oh, no there to make the recovery, but having to go off the deep end for that screw attack. Also, oh. though, catching the landing on the platform, Kage still definitely keeping his strength as much as possible. Looking for the back air. Oh, sour spot, but still good enough. Kage looking for a way to come back wow. on the recovery here. Able to use a C4 to come back towards center stage a little bit. Actually, on the platform. Dash attack catches one here. Sharp looking for a play. 121. He pretty much knows the stock is mine. He's just got to get the right play. Oh, dash attack. Yep. Good 15%. Now he has Sharp at the ledge. Another nair to catch the jump. Oh, Paul Kage potentially can take this. Sharp in a terrible spot at the ledge. Ooh. Oh, and the jump gets caught. Dude, Paul Kage wins neutral a single time. It turns it into a win. And you have to give it to That's like, the power of Snake. You have That's to the power you have, of Snake. You have to give it a sharp though because he jumped because he didn't want to go for an aerial. Like seeing how the wave that Apollo Kage was playing, he didn't want to commit to an aerial because he might have gotten hit. But unfortunately that jump pretty much put Sharp in the perfect position to get hit by Uptil. And we know how good Snake's Uptil is. It's been crazy. It used to be really ridiculous way back in Brawl, but it's still really good here in Ultimate.
Man, that was such a good comeback, dude. That was actually crazy. It was looking like, like he actually game, won neutral one time. One time. And he turned it into the win. That was great. Oh, Sharp on the oh. Lucina here. Okay. Yeah, so when I saw Sharp lose to Paul Kage before, he had used a combination of Samus and uh, Lucina, actually. Um, might have also tried Cloud in this matchup as well a few times, but uh, yeah. Paul Kage definitely uh, not unfamiliar with fighting a Sharp's Lucina, too. Let's see, though, because Sharp is in danger of getting 3 0 here. Yeah. And the thing about Lucina and Marth particularly is you have to stall your aerials well enough to avoid hitting the grenade, like so, because the snake will just pull them and he'll punish you for going for aerials against him, even on shield and even on platforms. But we know how good Sharp's Lucina can be, so he definitely knows what he's up to here on 122 already on Apollo Kage. Looking for the read here on the forward smash. No dice. It's the forward throw, looking for the landing here. Great stuff on Sharp here to try to get an aerial. I'll throw up the top. Oh man, <laughs> a lot of pressure there. Paul Kage is going crazy with the explosions right now. So no much coverage. Air? Oh, but, great on yeah, the Yeah, great back air shield. Opportunity dash guard. Nice. Drifts right where Snake has pretty much forced to be with his up B. Gets the forward air. Oh, he's some great juggles right now. This is the power of Lucina in this matchup. Also having good movement on the ground too can avoid uh, a lot of stuff from Snake. Gotta be careful with your jumps though. Oh, the C4! Can... Oh, look yeah, at yeah, where yeah, that, 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 that was That was nuts. He got the C4 beer versus stick on the stage to like back air. Like, if it was any character that didn't have like an amazing up B like Marth Lucina, that probably would have hit. Yeah. All right, Sharp. Either way, Sharp, Sharp's like, yeah, that was cool. Really fancy. I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm probably going to get this stock. Yeah, let me look for... Honestly, it's good for Sharp to play the calm, patient, neutral game right now with Lucina because that's how well the character can work. So 112 here against Apollo Kage. We saw this position here last time, but it's like the most last stocks. So we'll see if Sharp can continue on this lead. Gets the if down he, air. If he hit that Nair to dash attack... It got like 40% or something. I would have been scared for Sharp. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the win condition for Apollo Kage, I guess. Anyway. Pretty good right here. Oh! Oh, nice up B from Sharp. If he got hit without the jump uh, off stage there, he pops to we could have died. Apollo Kage is going for some crazy plays, trying to get a forward air spike of all things. I think he still has the C4 attached to his body. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, no, it's on Sharp now. Okay. Oh my god, where are these sticks right now? What the heck is this snake doing? <laughs> He's going insane. Alright. At the ledge. Sharp. Still playing very patiently. Playing around the grenades. Trying to avoid getting up tilted. Not enough to kill. He's really doing a good job of using these platforms as we've seen to just get around Snake. Oh no, early up me. Oh man, that ends up costing him the stock. Can Apollo Kage do it again? It's definitely possible. Is the comeback in his hands? Okay. That's, the real, that's the real question. Oh, good air dodge to the ledge. Oh, oh, there's a lot of damage already. The C4? Sharp is the best spot of Paulo Kage actually trying to cheese him with the force smash. It definitely would have killed if it hit. Sharp is playing so carefully. He doesn't want to drop this. Nice, but doesn't catch the force smash in time on the roll. At the ledge. Oh, hold up. Oh my god, so many explosions everywhere. Sharp is going to jump to the other side. He can't afford to get thrown here, I don't think. A lot of things can potentially kill. Oh my god, that up to hitbox. What the hell is that? Why did it hit from behind him? I don't know. <laughs> this is so scary. Oh. Oh, he has the grenade. Oh no. This is too intense right now. Up coming. 
Sharp looking for the no, no <laughs> dice from Sharp here. I'll okay, game with stage now stage with uh, Nikita. Uh, oh my God, he barely got past it. Didn't get up tilted for rolling on stage. Oh man, Palakai has brought this all the way back. Oh, oh whiffed grab He got the back here. air though. Whiffed oh grab my God. from Kage oh at God. the last second. Just enough of a break here for Sharp. Putting a point on oh the board God. and saving himself from losers. Dude, you know he Sharp should have died when he rolled in. Like, if a power kage just up tilted him, he he was dead. But he did a whiff grab instead. Damn, a power kage actually almost brought that back. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, All right, I don't think I don't think Lucina's. I don't think Lucina's staying on the screen anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I have a feeling. Oh, okay, wait, he's staying Lucina, he's staying Lucina. Okay, I was, was going to say, like, I thought we might see Sharp go ZSS or a different character, just the way how he was able to play against the other Snake. But, uh, you know, only Sharp knows what he's doing, man. There's a reason why he was able to clutch out and put a point on the board here. He's got one more chance because Kage is still on set point. Oh, we're on Smashville. One of Snake's best stages. That middle platform is just so good for him for his uh, grenade and C4 traps. But the small stage can actually help out Sharp a little bit. He can get in on Snake a little bit more. And he can utilize that platform to his own juggle potential as well, so. Yeah, go, go Sharp to get that down, like down that. throw. Oh, oh, what a re on the neutral. Apollo Kage. Neutral get up being right into a charge force match. Sharp reading that centuries ago. And now that's a really good lead for him. Yeah, this is the sh this is the lead that Sharp really needs to continue on. In winner's side. Oh, big up tilt, but we're living. And the back air, actually. Before Sharp can even get his forward air out, he's already getting kicked off the stage. Nope, no juggle here. Really good movement there for Apollo Kage to avoid getting hit. Jab lock? Oh, yep. what an excellent Forward air? Play, yeah. Oh, if. If it was my snake, I would have did the runoff there. Okay, Strats. Okay. It, it would have. It would have worked. Like, <laughs> that was a really good jab lock though from Paul Kage. Oh. Oh, okay. let's see. oh he got the seat back on Kage. No, no. Oh no, it's on Lucina. What it's on Lucina. What's he gonna do? What is he yeah, gonna good do? On, good on Sharp. He's yeah. Oh he's, my being, God. he's being cautious. He's being cautious. He knows Dude, what Kage was... is looking for. He was. Mashing that up smash. Still Wow, you nice parried it? Too. Wow. What? what timing? What, what the timing? heck? Is this guy a per like is that a human? Like what the heck? Sharp looking like a machine that? with that parry, most definitely. Like you know if you screw up that timing a little bit, like you're gonna get blown up. That's crazy. Oh. Speaking All of the right. devil, man, it's speaking of timing, Akage with the wrong timing on the C4, because he actually blows himself up and this keeps sharp. Another stock lead here, still yet again. This is what Sharp is looking for. Downer able to hit through Kage, but also the grenade. Oh. All right, watch. Kage's gonna watch on the landing here. Good to still hold shield. Didn't oh, even man. commit to a second roll there. Yeah, he the really wants to. Yeah. He really wants these rolls from Sharp to get the up. So, but uh, yeah, Sharp's not falling for it at all. He's not letting him get the free up tilt at all. Nice movement from Sharp, get past everything at the ledge. But that up tilt out of shield, he actually had some extra hit lag from hitting the grenade, which made the up tilt uh, more likely to hit. So opportunity, seeing Apollo Kage's last stock is proven to be some of the scariest in uh, Ultimate right now. Yeah, and especially for Sharp, he's built up such an opportunity to possibly get this reverse 3-0 here, but we'll see if Kage gives him the chance. 114 for the forward air. Sharp with stage control, looking for the landing on Kage. Oh, big dash attack. Has him at the ledge now. <laughs> Double A lot grenades. of explosion, but Sharp gets past everything. Gotta be careful here, though. He can die at almost any moment if he's not on point. Yeah. A lot of empty hops here from Sharp. Oh. He's looking to try to oh, get around man. Kage's shield. Yeah, with that grenade, like he didn't, he wasn't able to tech chase with the down tilt because of the grenade blowing him up. Yeah, 77 on Sharp. It's still really oh. scary because Kaga can still make the comeback even on 77 on nice. Lucina. Forward tilt to catch the landing. 
Sharp looking for an opportunity here. He, nice on Kage. He buys himself the ability to come back on the stage a little bit towards the ledge, though, because he's got the C4 there. You can tell that Sharp oh. is not letting go of even the aerial approach. He will get nice. that forward air, and Sharp punches his ticket to game five against Kage. Damn, that was that was really really good catch from Sharp. This is probably the most intense <laughs> winners finals we've seen in quite the minutes, guys. And then both of these players going neck and neck. And now finally, at the final choke point here, it is going to be game five: Kage versus Sharp. Hmm. I don't know who's gonna win this. I have no ah. idea who's gonna win. I have no idea, man, but Sharp has definitely earned the right to pretty much buy himself this ticket to Game 5. We'll see can Kage finally clutch this out at this final opportunity. Alrighty, off to a good start there, though. Oh, what are oh this pace him all the way down <laughs> the stage. You have to admire it, though, because he knows, like, Kage puts himself at disadvantage for good reason, because you can... He's doing really well with Snake at that point, but Sharp is going to be on the aggressive side here. But Apollo Kage shutting him down as much as possible with another down out of shield and stage control in his hands with oh. a long lasting back air. Kage starts off strong here in game five. Wow, Sharp getting a grenade combo. Actually, really good percent for him. Oh, almost getting the shield break. Man, so close. Trying his best to dodge every explosion, but big back air from Apollo Kage. What, what a recovery from Sharp, oh my god. Down airing the Nikita, rolls into the up smash, but barely avoids getting hit. Very risky Oof. maneuvers, but Nikita snagging that recovery before he can even snap the ledge. Apollo Kage with the first stock. Yeah. Back throw here for Sharp. Nice way Force for him smash. to go for an end. Yeah. Oh. So Force Smash was a good point, but I also like the Sharp one for an empty hop to try to throw out the threat of a possible back air as Kage tried to go for a jump or a Cypher. 50%. Almost 60% here for Paolo Kage. Still holding on to the stock lead, too. Oof. I thought he was going to go for a grab, but I do like the down smash attempt there against Kage. Cross up back air, no dice here. Sharp still looking for that 135 to be 0% and two stocks on Kage, but Kage oh. looking to shut down Sharp as soon as possible. Double grenades here, and he's looking for the landing. Does he find an opportunity? No dice. But after oh, the forward tilt, that's nice not that shoot. safe. Yeah. Yeah. Nice punish from Sharp. He took almost 70%, though. Oh, whoa, whoa. What is Paul Kage doing? Okay, okay. Sharp didn't uh, push that edge guard that hard. Luckily so, for Apollo Kage, You have to like the attempt, though. Yeah. It could have been really bad for him if he, like, actually just kept hitting off stage. Still good stuff for Sharp, though. All right. At the ledge again. Doesn't get up tilted, but he's really looking for that roll. Mm -hmm. And you can tell, too, Apollo Kage had kind of earned that opportunity the way he set up Grenade. He was looking to see if Sharp was going to be able to just roll into that zone. But Sharp, so far, he knows he's got to play a little bit safer than he has these past few games. Down throw? Nice. He's looking for the reset. There's a reaction there with the dash attack. Great play from Kage. Sharp looking for an opportunity to just land and get an aerial. Anything at this point here will put Snake off the stage oh. and will give Sharp the opportunity to take the oh. stock. Now there's the off stage play. Can Sharp catch the landing? Jump mm, what a nice play. What catch, a play. dude. Wow. He caught the air dodge with the up smash. That was such a good catch from Sharp. And that's what I liked about Sharp. He knows once I get saved. I'm sorry, once I get Snake off the stage, just one opportunity here. I will get the, the chance here, but look at Kage using the oh, enemy chaser man. just to get Sharp all the way off the stage and stop Damn. his recovery. Hitting him with the Predator missile, dude. That's crazy. I can't believe he got away with that. <laughs> and now we're in the last stock of game five. I don't know what's going to happen here. Both these guys are playing out of their mind. Yeah, they have brought this to the wire time and time again. Regardless of the winner strides, this has been a great set between the two. For sure, for sure. Nice, gets the dash attack, sharp at the ledge here. Just again, he's playing so patiently around the grenades, but... Oh, not able to follow up too hard there. Still. Uh, sharp getting caught nice by these percent. grenades. Yeah. These are some rough trades for Sharp to make in this type of situation. Uh, a lot of rough trades, but Sharp gets stage control cool. here, and that's big for Sharp. He will take One in high. that trade. Looking to stop the recovery against him, but nice. the C4 has oh. landed on the platform. I thought it was Lucina for a second. 
Oh man, Sharp is dodging everything. Okay. Just roll away from the grenade. Trying to find the grab, but the Damn bad it. trade. Bad trade indeed. Sharp almost gets the upper from the center platform. Oh. Oh. Watch the, yeah, watch, yeah, watch the getup for Sharp here. That's oh. super crucial. Dash oh. attack. Big dash Kage attack from the down the checkers. Going high. Try to weigh out the air dodge. Doesn't want to play on this platform. Up is very scary up there. Oh, catches that dash attack punish. He's gonna go high yet again. Yeah, Kaga's gonna C4 watch the line here. C4 and oh. that play. He knows very if scary. it was anywhere around Sharp, he could have exploded that C4 and that would have forced a lot of interactions against Sharp to either hold shield or possibly lose the game. But the oh, the will finally pay off but we're living. We're living. We're living. Yeah, good, good bait from Sharp. He saved that jump to avoid that. Back oh, air. but he dashed into the back air. Oh, man. That sucks. That sucks for Sharp. But we'll take it. What a crazy, what a crazy game five match. Crazy game five indeed. Damn.